All right, guys, today I wanted to do a review of your typical cheap acrylic Chinese formicarium that you would find on uh, AliExpress or anywhere on the internet pretty much. It sells ant nests, has these cheap ones. All right, guys, first I'm going to start off by saying that if you have a very small species of ant, this is not the nest for them. So right now I have some very large ants in here. Campanatus curricola, and they seem to like it all right. They just came out of hibernation, but they have a decent amount of brood in there, so it's kind of hard to sell with the condensation. But that's a big problem with these nests, especially if you're going to heat them. And these guys don't need too much heat. That's why I keep these guys in here. I paid about twenty dollars for this nest on AliExpress, and I know the price has gone up to around $30 right now. I bought two of them and each one took about two hours to put together. And there's many, many pieces. You can see all the layers of acrylic. This is the hydrating port. Just fill it with the syringe through the side right there. And it's got a sponge that holds it and there's another sponge down in there. It did come with extra sponges. That is one thing I did like about this nest. Right here's a view of the outworld. You can tell it's decently sized. You can see the worker in the entrance. So it has this little port right here where I could feed through. Or I could take the whole thing off. I usually don't even mess with this little thing right here things I do like about this nest I like how it has these two little plugs that you can pop off the sides makes it easy for moving stuff in I like the price $20 wasn't bad so I don't think I would get this for $30 another thing I like is it has these things that you could pull out as the nest needs to grow this colony is about a year old right now, so they probably won't need more of the sections opened up anytime soon. That's plenty of room for them. Things I don't like about this nest. I don't like how the condensation builds up in there if you add any warmth to this nest. Another thing I don't like, this hydration port needs to be filled up daily. It goes through all that water each day. So another thing I didn't like is I, when I first got this nest, I put a huge colony in here, about 300 worker Campanatus fragilis, and they just did not do well in here at all. I had about half the nest opened up. I'll put some footage on that at the end of the video. So would I recommend this nest? I definitely would not recommend any acrylic nests. I just have not had the luck with acrylic nests like I do with other types of nests. If $20 is all you got, and by means, all means go for it, but I will not be purchasing any more acrylic nests. I actually had two of these and I threw the other one away. Alright, thanks guys.